Okay, welcome back. Here I'm back in my JS bin, and now I'm going to start off with the each function from our underscore JS. And like I said, I'm going to go through a handful of these, uh, just kind of give you um, some basics on how uh, some of the most popular functions work. And then again, like, you know, if you need to go in and find something on your own um, from these videos, tutorials, you should have enough uh, skill to be able to, like, research. Uh, the functions that you need most, but I'm going to give you the most popular ones. So we're looking at each right here, and the way we can start playing around with this is kind of all just copy and paste. That's kind of nice how um, underscore kind of makes it easy for you to kind of figure out exactly how the function works. So one thing you want to do is make sure you add underscore uh, as part of your library in JS bin. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create an array and I'm going to pass in these five numbers and then I'm going to paste my underscore function and I am going to pass in my array and let's see, I guess we'll use the default alert. Will this work? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. But that's how you use underscore. It's pretty simple. Uh, just how you saw here, like I just pasted this in, but basically um, this little thing here is the underscore. So this little thing here contains this each function, which is really great. Um, you know, if I wanted to do something else like uh, down here, I've got map. So let's take a look at map. So map uh, from the underscore documentation here it produces a new array which is different from each which just spits you back out you know every index of your array it produces a new array and um, it does something to every value in the list so let's uh, check it out and see how it works actually we could look at this so we've got one two and three and then I pass in a function to this map underscore function and it transforms these numbers from 1, 2, 3 to 3, 6, 9. So let's check it out here on JSPAN. Oh, it looks like we already got it. Okay. I'm ahead of myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can um, console log this function. One, two, three, I forgot to turn off the other thing. But here we go, three, six, nine. Okay, cool. So it works. Uh, so these are how these functions work. In the next video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background information on why these functions work this way and how you can build your own kind of underscore library if you wanted. And that should help you understand the underscore library itself. It's actually really, really um, intuitive and simple. Like, uh, even though it looks complicated in the documentation. It's really not. It's just um, a better way to write code as opposed to writing you know, a ton of spaghetti code. All the functions are here if you ever want to look them up and see how they were made. So you know, I just did a command find just now to get my little find tool in Safari. And then <clears throat> if I um, you know, look for the each function, here it is. And it'll show me exactly how this thing works. So, you know, I can pass in an object or I can pass in an array like I did here. And this function is smart enough to look, know, if, am I passing in an array or am I passing in an object? And it'll do, um, you know, its comparison or it'll do its if, you know, logical statement, if else. And if it's an array, it will print out every loop in the array. It'll go through, it'll loop through the array and do whatever I want. And, you know, in the other one, if it's an object, it'll go through the object and it'll, uh, do whatever I want with the keys and values in the object. So it's a smart function and I'll show you in the next video how you can build something like this on your own if you wanted and then you know you can come back to it later and understand okay this is why map works the way it does or this is why each works the way it does and that'll help you a lot more with um, building your own you know applications whether you use backbone 